Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So today I am going to do my day-to-day -day makeup routine. This usually doesn't take me very long. It takes me about 10 minutes. My other half tends to drive to work, so I tend to do this uh, whilst in the car. What I'll do today is I'll switch it up a little bit and I will show you how to do a going out uh, makeup as well. I tend to sometimes go out on a Friday, go out for a drink or go out for dinner and I don't like to come back home because I live quite far away and it takes me ages to get home and back. So um, I just end up changing my makeup to more of an evening look. So I'll show you how I do that. I will pull my hair back so I can do my makeup better and I don't get it all in my hair which I normally do by the way the first thing I'll start off with is the primer I use the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base I will apply this on my face but on my neck as well because girls you need to remember when you do your makeup not that I'm a makeup artist or anything but one thing I've learned is make sure you apply your foundation down your neck as well because you can actually see it in pictures and especially in the daylight if you haven't applied your foundation properly. But I've got to be honest, since I've been doing YouTube I've realised I have so many things wrong with me. <sighs> Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not that I thought that I was perfect before, not at all. <laughs> Next thing up is the foundation. I tend to, on for a day to day look, I tend to apply my foundation first. As I said, I tend to do this makeup in the car normally, so I don't really have very much time to waste. The foundation that I'm using at the moment is Max Factor Face Finity. I've talked about this foundation and all the products that I've been using recently. I have a video that I put up a while ago. So I use the Beauty Sponge and I've already applied the foundation on it. I will apply it all over my face and as I've mentioned earlier, I'll go down my neck as well. Honestly, you guys, this sponge is amazing. It lasts for ages and it makes your job so much easier when you um, apply your foundation. So it's slightly pointy a bit up here. What I tend to use it for is um, if I have any imperfections, any spots, anything like that, like I do today, plenty of them, I'll add a bit of a foundation there and I use the, the top it and dap it and it actually um, covers it quite, quite a lot better. You see, just like that. Now bear in mind, I'm not doing an evening look, I'm doing more of a day look and then switching it up a bit, but Normally for a more of an evening look, I would use the Double Wear Foundation from um, Estee Lauder. So next up is applying some color on my eyelid. I use this religiously, the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. Obviously using it for highlighting, but I use it for uh, my eyes as well. It is really good, you guys. I've talked about this before. I've only had it since Christmas, it was a Christmas gift from my sister, but um, I do really swear by it. So I will go in with the Santorini colour, um, again I'm doing a really natural uh, makeup look today. I tend to um, go either for Santorini or for Azores, just the one there. I'm using the Doiva 221 brush, I just go all around my eye. I like using this really light colours because it brightens my eyes. I do tend to look incredibly tired, as you've seen just previously without any makeup. I just have bags under my eyes and I have really dark circles, so anything just to help me look a bit more alive. Okay, so I'll add a bit of pink as well. Don't forget for a day look, you don't want to apply too much makeup either because the sun sees everything and the light sees everything and it really doesn't look great um, if you apply too much makeup so I tend to go quite natural, especially at work. You do want to look like you've at least put a little bit of effort but you don't want to be one of those people that just slaps it all on every single day. At least I think so. 
This brush is brilliant because it really holds in the colour and uh, it blends it in really, really well. I use the MAC Studio Fix with the Echo Tools Full Powder Brush. I like this brush because it evens out the powder. So I'll just apply the product on the, on the powder. I'm sure that most of you guys know this already. I don't have to explain this to you, but I'll just show you how I did. So I'll apply quite a bit of product on the powder and I'll apply it in a circular way. Make sure, again, you cover all your face. I do have to change the colour of the powder and the foundation because as soon as I'll get a bit more tanned, I tan really quickly, so this will be definitely a bit too light. The colour... Okay. The colour that I use is NC25, so it's quite light. Alright, so the next bit is the um, bronzer. I've only started to use the bronzer recently because in the winter I don't like to use bronzers it just makes your makeup a bit too dark but because it's quite sunny at the moment and obviously summer is coming I've started to use the bronzer it's from Clarins and it's Splendor and it's a summer bronzing compact so I'll just take my contour and highlight brush from number seven so I'll just use this bit here just apply it on the cheekbones and underneath my cheekbones. I was one of those girls that always used to wear mainly pink shades of blushes, but I've sort of gone more for a, for a, a brown shade, so that's what I'm using at the moment. And I never used to use bronzers, by the way, it's like a new thing for me. Apply it on my cheekbone, a little bit on my temple, a little bit here as well, just to kind of contour it, contour your face. Next, I'll go back to Huda Beauty, the 3D palette. I'll go for the three colors, so Santorini, Azores, and Ibiza. So I'll do that. So I'll go here on the cheekbone. I like to use it a little bit on my nose and the tip of my nose. What I also tend to use for my work makeup is the MAC Other Earthly. Sorry, I'm not saying this right. MAC Other Earthly Mineralized Skin Finish. There's barely anything left in there. But I will use a little bit because it has got that bronzer look in it. I love anything that shines on my face, so just like a shiny face. I'll now move on to mascara. I've run out of my uh, Lancome Drama mascara, so I will be using a different mascara. The one I'm using is the New Skin New Color mascara. What I like about it is the brush. It's got the similar brush to Lancome. A little tip for you guys is when you do apply your mascara, make sure that you apply it and close your eyes and it applies it inside a bit more. It curls your lashes. So if any of you guys don't know that, well, there you go, there's a tip for you. I mean this mascara is good but nothing beats the Lancome mascara. This one's really good for, for your day makeup. Don't you girls get annoyed when the mascara falls on on your skin, on your face? It's so annoying. Okay, so um, I'll move on to my eyebrows. I use the Brow Wiz Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. It has a brush as well. So I'll um, brush the eyebrows very quickly first. Try and fix this bloody eyebrow. How I use the brow pencil is I go along the eyebrow starting down here with a line and drawing it around the eyebrow. I I'm not one of those people that can is great at eyebrows. I've learned how to do my own eyebrows but I love girls that are able to go into their eyebrow and make them bigger and it just looks amazing but I, 
I just can't do it. I know how to do mine and that's it. Okay, and then I will brush it in a little bit just to make it nice and neat. So the last bit of my makeup is um, the lipstick. I tend to go for free lipsticks uh, shade. Um, I will be using Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. You can tell that I use that all the time because I barely have anything in there. Or I'd go for MAC Retro Matte or Huda Beauty Liquid Matte uh, Lipstick. This is in color Wifey. But I won't use this to today. I'll go for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's actually quite um, a well-known color. I saw it on quite a lot of celebrities because I'm sad like that and I follow them. And uh, I loved it, so I use that today. Last thing, I'll go back to Huda Beauty, the highlighter, and I'll go on to the, the cream, well, it's called Prep, and it's called Capri. Add that just on the top of my cheekbone. It really, really adds an extra touch. A little bit on my nose. But what you also can do is add it on the top of your lid, just underneath your eyebrow. Sometimes do that. there you go this is my day-to-day -day makeup look how do I look for more of an evening look I will use a darker color in my crease an eyeliner and I will contour my face a bit more the current palette that I'm using is the Zoeva matte palette and I will go in with cheap bar colour which is that colour up there I don't know why they're using these really weird names for their colours but hey ho adding the colour in my crease I'll use the MAC 219 so I will add in a bit more colour but then blend it in with my other brush with my blending brush I also tend to do a little line here It does make it a little bit more harder to do it when you already have mascara on. But bear in mind, this is a, I'm at work, I need to put a bit more effort sort of makeup. So, this is why I'm making it more difficult for myself. Do any of you girls tend to stretch your eye when you apply your eyeliner or your color? Or is it just me? I'll go back in with my Zoeva 228 um, just to blend it. Sorry if I'm not saying the name right. Zoeva, Zoeva. That just gives it a bit more colour to your eye. I don't like to go too dark on my eyes because my eye colour is so dark. I'll always go for very warm colours. Whenever I have my makeup done professionally, I will ask them to, I will go out of my comfort zone a little bit, but that's just because they're experts. Okay, so um, the next bit is the eyeliner. I'm currently using the Lancome Art Liner uh, Liquid Eyeliner. Just a sort of fine line. Um, this does make actually quite a bit of a difference in your makeup. Do you guys remember the first time you've ever used a liquid eyeliner and tried to draw a line on your eyes? I remember. <laughs> it wasn't a nice view, I'll tell you that. Okay, and I'll also go in with my mascara. Those are my eyes done. Add in a bit of contouring. Although, of course, they've got uh, my face done. I do have my um, highlighter on, but I'll add in the Anastasia Beverly Hills contouring palette. I'll go in first with the banana color. Just, it's called banana. Yeah, it's that one there. Just a bit underneath my eye. Just brightens up. 
my face around my nose I'll go in next with um, chocolate that's the color down here I don't really go for very dark colors I get really worried when I contour the really dark colors I'm very confident when it comes to contouring not like my contouring queen Melanie Hi babe. So I'll go around my forehead, underneath my cheekbone. Go a little bit around the jawline. And that's it. And to finish it off, I'll go over with my powder, just to give it that fix. Not too much. The last, last thing now is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Color and Corrector. Um, I'll just apply it underneath my eye. The reason I do this, it makes your eyes pop and it make, actually makes your eyes uh, look a bit bigger. And that is it for you guys. So this is my day and evening makeup routine. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to share, comment and so on and I'll see you soon.